This is the second part of a tutorial about the building of the simple room with door, a door and a window. And now we are going to make a door and a window. So let's start with um, making a drawing of uh, these elements. And for now I will show you how the rectangle works. I'll just click on rectangle and then click somewhere and now we will start to put the measurements of the window it's going to be 1200 zero, zero. and then it will be well, let's say 1700 zero, zero. enter so that's the way my window will be and the door is uh, 900 zero, zero. enter and then the height is 2300 zero, zero. enter so now we have a window and a door let's just make it a bit better place uh, now I would like to offset for the window frames uh, just click here and type offset enter and then I would like to change the distance to 50 enter and now I would like to offset it into the inside part I would like to do the same with the door and if you just click the door and I would like to use the same command so I just push enter and it's just you see the same and then because the distance is the same I just click inside um, well, for uh, the window we can leave it that way, but the door, of course, you don't want to fall over it when you're coming inside. So I would like to cut off uh, this part, and that's why I would like to um, extrude this part like that, just a little bit. And now, well, I just selected these points and then stretched it with uh, move. But I think I can just, you know, you see, if I select the second point, I have to hold the shift. And then I use the move commands to move the points. Uh, for now, uh, I would like to cut off uh, this part. So I just uh, select it and uh, choose trim. Or you can type trim, enter. And so you see, he, he Rhino tells you what you have to do. So select object to trim and uh, this one and this one and enter. Done. Uh, but now I have two loose uh, lines. I would like to join them to be able to build a nice uh, volume. So I just uh, select them and then I can type join or just uh, push the button here, join. So now we have some nice frames. I would like to put them in a good layer. So I call them uh, frame, frames, enter, some a different color. I don't like dark green very much. And by the way, this color is only for you, for this uh, working field. Uh, it's uh, You will not see it in the render. It's just uh, uh, easy for you to see what's going on and uh, just for the working process. Uh, I would like to extrude, you see I used all the same uh, comment extrude curve, enter, and I would like to make it uh, 100, enter, and I would like to do the same for this, so I just push enter and once again enter, so it's really easy. Alright, uh, we got two frames and I would like to build a door here so I push, push it here and here and this is the door and I put extrude curve and the, I will put it around to 50 is actually I put it to a different layer just to be able to give a different color to see the difference and uh, door enter 
I'll just select this, go to the layer and the properties, and say more. Yeah, now we can see that it's on a good layer. And for the window, actually, I would like to put some uh, design in here. Uh, I'll make this line in the middle. Enter. And then, actually, I have to work in a layer uh, called frames, so you just can switch it that easily. And uh, because it has to have some thickness, I would like to... Actually, I did um, something... I would like to make it a bit different in window, so I'll just delete this one. Uh, I'll give it um, with the offset. It uh, must be 50 as well, but then uh, if I put it this way, then it will, will be off-center. I just put the distance uh, 25, enter, and I put it into both sides. So now I make it like that. I don't need this one, so I just delete it. So you see, now I have built it here. And um, I would like to delete this one, so I can do it by uh, using trim again, but for now, just to show you the difference, I don't select it first, I just push trim, and then you see he asked me to select cutting objects, so I select this one, and then I press enter, enter, and now select objects to trim, so I just cut this one right here, enter. So that is, here we are. Uh, well, if you are wondering what about if you don't want to make it in the middle, but for example, um, you have a special measurements, uh, how to do about that? Well, I will show you. Uh, I will just draw the line here, and then I take this line. You see, when I w want to select something, he and the program is not really sure what I would like to select. He just ask me this one or that one. No, I'll say that a short one, and then uh, I say, well, it must be like 500 uh, that way. So I just select it and start moving it to 500. Enter, and then well, I just uh, do something different than offset. I just uh, copy it from here to 50. Enter, and enter. Okay, and I'll just uh, trim this um, two guys here. Um, trim, and select cutting objects, enter, and then I cut here and here, enter. So now we have some kind of window, and I will select it. And actually, I have some lines in default, there's some lines I have in frames. I would like to organize it and to put it all in frames, so you see. He says various because I have um, different lights from different layers. I just put it in default because I don't want to have uh, here. I would like to only have uh, my volume. So uh, I select them all and now I'm going to extrude it again. Guess what? I'm going to extrude it again. And uh, let's make it um, extrusion distance at 100 meter. So we have got a window, and now we have to put some glass in there. Put another layer, I call it glass, and I'll give it a, just a nice uh, color blue. Uh, I will give you a small advice for rendering of your 3D model. Actually, normally glass has some thickness, like three or five millimeters. But when you making a 3D model, it's better to do not need it the thickness. You only need the reflection. So I will just make a single plane. Um, the way to make plane, there are actually there are lots of different possibilities. I will use um, well, for for change uh, surface and uh, menu. And you find here plane. Uh, you can make it corner to corner. Well, it's easy. Well, let's try three points uh, for just for fun. Uh, so he said um, here, here, and oh, 
and you see while I'm drawing I think well I'm drawing in the wrong layer uh, it's easy enough to change it like that so now you see it's blue and I put it here so I've built a very simple surface for my glass and now I would like to move this glass in the middle of the window I remember I told you about uh, uh, using reference points I mean that if you would like to move the object you do not particularly need to touch the object itself you just uh, for example it's in the same level as here and I need it in the middle of here so I actually I just put it here and put it here in the middle and now it's in a good place 